Hello and welcome to the Results Realty and Results Land Co. channel. I'm Alan Howard, owner and broker of both companies. I hope you've been watching some of our other videos that we've posted as far as agency and trying to understand what your agent actually is supposed to be doing for you. Today I wanted to visit with you about 1031 exchanges and clear up some misconceptions. 1031 exchanges are probably the most valuable tool that we deal with in the real estate industry uh, outside of the residential world because residential sales are not subject to capital gains in normal situations. Uh, 1031 exchange, one of the most common misconceptions that we get is like kind exchange or a like kind property gets misconstrued as to thinking that you have to exchange a farm for a farm, a building for a building, a commercial site for a commercial site, so on and so forth. And nothing could be further from the truth. Basically any income producing or uh, non-residential property can be exchanged. So I'm going to give you a couple examples of things that we've done. Uh, one client sticks in my mind. He's a dear friend to this day. We've done a myriad of different transactions and exchanges through the years. He was selling a uh, building in Wichita and wanted to do an exchange into a farm that I had listed at the time, and which we did. So we took a commercial building, downtown Wichita, took his proceeds, got that set up into a 1031 exchange account, and we moved that money into his farm, which he still owns to this day. Same client different quarter, different county, wanted to sell that quarter. And he was wanting at that time to buy a condominium in Florida. So we got this quarter sold. There was also another property that was thrown into the pool at the same time with the same 1031 exchange. We moved all of that money to Florida and bought his condominium. So again, deferred capital gains, from that point forward, he did sell that condo a number of years back and he 1031 exchanged that money back here to Kansas and put it into rental houses. All legal, all above board. And, and again, nothing had to be like kind. It wasn't like kind as far as type of property, but they were all income producing properties. Now, with that said, second homes, uh, that gets to be kind of a fuzzy area and that is something that you probably need to call me or discuss in uh, with your CPA. CPAs seem to have varying different uh, opinions as everybody does. I was uh, helped with two different situations this year where someone was selling a vacation home that they had not been renting but in the IRS's eyes that was still a second home, so it was going to be a capital gain. And one CPA didn't think that that was going to be a 1031 exchangeable event. Another one's uh, uh, CPA did think it was going to be a 1031 exchange event and they were willing to give that a whirl. Anyway, there's, there's some gray area there when you get into second homes, there's some specific rules as far as renting that property so many days a year and how many time how many nights a year you can stay in it as the owner and still maintain it as quote unquote a uh, commercial property <clears throat> there's a lot of different terms that go along with 10 through exchanges your replacement property your to be relinquished property qualified intermediaries so on and so forth uh, if you have questions about that you are thinking about an exchange or you're in the midst of one you need help please give me a call. I'd be more than happy to help you with that. There's a lot of different things and a lot of things that we can do. We can do them forward. We can do them reverse, which hardly anybody knows that you can do a reverse exchange. Happen. It, we did four of them in 22. So again, if, you, if you're thinking of selling, if you have a property outside of where you actually live that you've thought about selling, but you don't want to get smacked in the face with taxes, an IRS Tax code 1031 exchange is certainly a great tool to take that money, move it someplace else where you can better utilize that property or that money from that property. Again, Alan Howard, Results Land Company. Visit us on our website, resultsre.com, or feel free to 
email or call me. And until next time, happy trails.